Hello everyone, it's Bob Buter, and I have an inspirational story for us for this e-message in May. We had a yoga for asthma seminar and I received permission from Thane, a 14 year old boy who did children's yoga with us when he was uh, six to nine years old. Well, he's recently had exercise induced asthma attacks and he's playing lacrosse this spring, finding it somewhat difficult and he came to this seminar for the first 20 to 30 minutes he was really glum he was looking sad even shed a tear well his mother had no idea that this asthma was bothering him so much because he doesn't have an extreme case of asthma and it's only first started and he will probably grow out of it but in any case he decided to really learn some things and his mother told us that his breathing rate which was never talked to or taught to him by any doctor but he was able to breathe 15 in and 15 out at our seminar which is really good and that's partially because he learned breathing as a child but now he's got it to 21 in 21 out which is a really good growth and his mother noticed he followed all the dietary changes that we recommended to decrease mucus in your system with just fundamental simple changes so he took out flavored yogurts and he eats only plain yogurt because the flavored yogurts have a lot of refined sugar which creates a mucus reaction in the body more extreme than just from the milk products um, he cut it down on all desserts just having dessert one day a week and um, they had a little little discussion and his mother was trying to comfort him a few days after the seminar and she goes well how are you doing with your asthma and I know that was really upsetting to you and he said mom no asthma is no longer upsetting to me it's my chance it's my motivator asthma is my teacher and that was a paraphrasing when I said let your illness be your guru let your you know whatever your weakness is your stressor can become your teacher as soon as you fall prey to it you know you have more to learn so he's been doing that with his asthma and he hasn't had an attack in 20 days and we're really happy for him and we're very inspired because not only did he follow some of the yoga lifestyle techniques such as changing his diet uh, doing a few yoga exercises to open up his breathing pathways doing the deep breathing exercise that we showed him but he's also changed his attitude and she said the kicker was he even figured out how to overcome the stress he was having in one of his school subjects that he was dreading one of his classes and through just some creative thinking on his own he decided to let it go so he no longer feels uptight when he goes into this one class and we all know how stress is another huge cofactor in causing something like an asthma attack if you're predisposed for it so I wanted to share with you that inspirational story, something that we all can connect to because we all have a difficulty in our life, no matter who we are, whether it's asthma or whether it's stress at the job or the family or wherever. And I think we can take that real motivational example and be self-reliant where we practice the full scope of yoga or get motivated to learn about yoga in that way, where we learn that yoga is more than a set of poses it's not just a fancy four-letter word these days everybody's doing yoga um, but there's an entire thought process behind it that looks at each part of your life and helps you find whichever area is weak and then gives you some tools to strengthen that area so our hats off to Thane and I uh, hope it is inspirational to you as it is to me have a great week